Hey guys, so welcome back to Fig Jam. Today we are looking at the aptly named the King's Custard Ajax. Um, let's take a look at it and see if it's fit for royalty. So it comes in a 60ml bottle with 50ml of zero nicotine juice. Uh, you can use a nicotine shot with this juice which will bring it up to 3mg and 60ml. Uh, it's a 75-25 blend, 75 Fiji, 25 PG. Um, today I will be trying it on the Peerless RDA by Geekfip sitting on top of the Vupu Drag resin edition both reviews coming up very soon guys just straight off the bat i hate the name of the drag fupu awful awful name but we'll look at that in the review uh, just a standard 26 gauge parallel build homing in at around 0.16 have it sitting at about 100 watts um, let's take a toot and see what we think Okay, so just straight away on the inhale, you're getting that real sweet vanilla custard. Uh, personally, I'm not a big fan of the custardy, cakey type of juice. Um, kind of sickened myself of it, but I really, really like this. I did. I wasn't expecting that I would, uh, but yeah, really, really, really nice aftertaste. That is unreal. Really, really, really nice. With that 75 VG, you are going to get quite a lot of cloud production on it. Um, not an overly big amount of throat hit. Um, quite pleasant to feel, very, very smooth. Um, just enough of a throat hit just to let you know that you are vaping. Yeah, I really, really, really like that. Nice and buttery. It's just missing some like apple pie, you know. It's strange to find a custard flavoured e-liquid that isn't sickening. But at the same time, me personally, I think I would find this quite sickening. Now, if you're into your custardy cakey type of flavours, I think you're going to love this. I know you're going to love this. Just give it another drip there. Start to get a bit dry. Which, as we all know, is not the most pleasant things. So it is just a really quick review today, just to review the King's Custard. Um, personal opinion, yes, it is absolutely beautiful. Really, really nice on the palate. Loads of vanilla custard going in on the inhale and just exactly the same on the exhale. You know, just a real buttery smooth custard. As I said, I do think I would find it a bit sickening as an all-day vape, but if you're in the year cake vapes, you're gonna love this, definitely. What I have found with the short fill balls when you're adding the nicotine shot, sometimes it can dilute the flavor slightly. Um, so it does take a few days, maybe sometimes a week. I have used juicing sort of recently, where I've put nicotine shots in and I've had to leave it for around two to three weeks to get the full flavour coming back out of it. Um, this however, once the nicotine is put in, give it a quick shake and you're good to go. Just touching on the flavour strength, loads and loads of flavour. It just literally smacks you in the face with that real sweet vanilla custard. Um, price wise, the guys at the e-cig shop and I currently have this for £17. It is slightly more expensive than some of the other 50ml sort of short fill bottles, uh, but yeah, I think it's worth it. You know, it, it, it does taste like a real good premium juice and you can tell that the time and effort has been in just to perfect that recipe. 
Um, I will have all the links down below uh, should you wish to purchase a bottle. Um, the links will be there for the eSig shop and I and also the King's Custard Instagram page. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do a, a lot more juice reviews um, as the other videos have just been hardware. Um, I just want to try and branch out a bit. And yeah, I think that's it. Just one final thought, guys. Let me know in the comments down below if you are heading to the Vape Expo, the return over in Birmingham, NEC. Um, a few of the guys from the E6 shop, including myself, will be there. This is going to be my first one, and I'm planning on vlogging the few days that we're there. So, really looking forward to that, and I hope the video does it justice. And I will see you again very, very soon.